What's up everybody? Welcome to Cax Gaming for a new episode of Tier 13 War and Legendary Base Reviews and for today a CWL base and a war base, a great one. So before we begin, don't forget to check the channel membership if you want to support the channel or if you want to see custom built pro bases from Champ 1 in the CWL so it will help you a lot a lot. And if you purchase the package for the custom bases, you will get access to 9 more secret bases. So, if you enjoy Daily Clash of Clans videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and turn the bell for all notifications so you won't miss any base in the future. So, this is the base for today. You saw the battle log. The base is really, really good. So, first replay, starting with the lightning spell, the zap attack. Took already the Eagle Artillery, but the base is countering it, so let's see how it will do. It's the Hybrid. Starting from the left side, right away with the Battle Blim. Wants to take the Scatter Shot. I think he can do it. No, I think they are going for the Ice Golems, yeah. Bad call to start from there, he needed to go from the top, I think. At least taking the Inferno and maybe with the Yeti might took uh, taking the scatter shot. Super Goblins. Okay. Trying to funnel a bit. Now the key the Queen will deploy the healers now. And she needs to finish the Ice Golems first. Probably will start from the top. He needs to start from the top with the miners and Og Riders. Yeah, it's the best way to attack now because it's funneling from the left side, adding the king now. Now going for the queen, already used the headhunters. Oh, and he's starting with the, with the army from the middle there, bottom middle. Don't know why, it's not very good decision, especially the king is there and his queen, no, oh, she took the queen. But they will just go around. As you can see, nobody is going for the town hall. Grand Warden ability now. Only the royal champion is there, but she can take the single inferno, but the scatter shot I think will finish her. Yeah, not very good for him. I think it will be a one star, even though we took the Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion can take the town all alone, especially without the ability. 10 seconds left, yeah, and it will be definitely a one star. Very unlucky. He needed to start from the top with the Miners and the Hog Riders. So it will be 68% one star, very unlucky. Let's watch the next replay, let's pick something else, probably Yetis or uh, Electro Dragons. So we have 11 Yetis, starting with all of the Yetis, Ice Golems in front and the Siege Barracks as well. So no funnel at all, just pushing with everything he got. Jump spell in the middle, but I see only one Yeti and one Ice Golem there. Earthquake spells near the center of the town hall. Okay. Nice damage, but I don't see anyone is going there. The P.E.K.K.A going for the CC. Maybe now she will go back inside. Nope, she wants the King. Triggered the Tornado Trap. Let's see if the P.E.K.K.A can take the Inferno. Nope. Almost, almost. But I think it's another fail. That's what happens when you don't funnel before you attack. Great example. Just no one is going for the center. They are going for around the base. That's why the base is really, really strong. Only the King and the Grand Warden. Can't do really much just to clear everything around it, but the Inferno will finish. No, nope, finish the Grand Warden first. The King isn't in the range. 
pretty high percentage, but uh, a one star, so it doesn't matter. Got away from the Inferno, the King, very nice. World Champion, well, the Cannon will finish him. So it will be 76% one star, very nice. Now let's watch the next replay. So we have the seven lightning spells and the balloons with the lava hounds. Let's see how it goes. So we he went for the CC with all the lightning spell and the earthquake, leaving the eagle artillery. And still he got the blower, so let's see, he preferred to take the CC. If he only knew I have three ice golems, he wouldn't waste all of that on the CC. So funneling from the left side with the king and the queen. On the right side with a few balloons. Trying to take... Hey, he took pretty much uh, lots of stuff there. With the balloons and the ice golem. Needs to use the queen ability and I think she will take the king. I don't think she can take the air, the air defense there. Maybe the Royal Champion. Okay, starting off with the Lava Hound. Trigger the Eagle Artillery. And he's using a Stone Slammer here. Big chance of taking one star, let's see. One Lava Hound is dead now. And the second one as well, because of the Inferno. Started with everything. Where is the Grand Warden? Ah, in the middle, using the Grand Warden ability. 12 minions to clear. Now they are going for the Town Hall, but I don't think it's enough. Yeah, only one. Using a Freeze, but I don't see them going for it. Maybe the Stone Slammer is the last chance, but yeah, the Blower will push him away every time. So, another fail, another one star. Very unlucky. And he got balloons with a dragon inside. Now using the wall breakers for no reason, just wasting them. So, it will be high percentage overall damage. The minions with the queen will take everything there. But, a one star. So three replays, three one stars, a very, very good base. I really like that base. It's from 5,400 trophies, so it's really good. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed from this episode, and I will see you on the next of Clash of Clans video. See ya! This is the future.